It's Geelong's Patrick Dangerfield versus the Bulldogs' Eastern Wood. I'm Joel Creasy, and it's time to play Telstra's pre pre game game show. Let's meet our two teams going head to head tonight. Our first fan is called Catherine. Hey, Joel. Talk to me about your passion for the Bulldogs. Oh, I've been a member for 41 consecutive years. Basically brainwashed from birth. There's no other way. Well, that's how we like it. Speaking of brainwashing, who is on your uh, beanie? <laughs> that is my boy, Eastern Wood. Well, what a coincidence. Your teammate is actually Eastern Wood. Hey, Eastern, how's it going? <laughs> oh, okay, Joe, oh, my God. Yes, <laughs> love your work. Look out. I just hope that's not stapled into your... <laughs> no, I, it is removable. <laughs> All right, tonight they will be facing Team Geelong and Geelong fan Lockie. G'day, Lockie. G'day, Joel. You've been stitched up in one of these scenarios before. Can you explain to me? Yes, I have. Oh, you've been fed some good info. I once had some friends call me pretending to be uh, K-Rock and a very similar situation, <laughs> a quiz, where I was <laughs> thought I was on the radio, win 500 bucks and answered a few cats questions and... Uh, yeah, it was all a big stitch up. And you love your fishing as well, is that right? Yes. So hopefully my uh, teammate has a few skills as well so we can chat some fishing afterwards. That'd be nice. Well, I think you might be onto something there, Lucky, because your teammate, of course, he is from Geelong as well. It's Mr. Patrick Dangerfield. G'day, Joel. Pleasure to be here. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. Is it all right if I call you Danger? You can call me whatever you like. <laughs> oh, okay. Well... It's the Bulldogs versus Geelong and Telstra's pre pre-game game show. Let's play with our first game, What's Missing? The first round is called Missing Ball and Bulldogs, you are up first. Oh, I think it's A, but <laughs> it looks like That's... A. Let's not overcomplicate it <laughs> and improve the decision. Let's just let's be confident. Both today, lock a. It let's go with C. We don't back the Sydney place to be anywhere near it, do we? <laughs> out the back. Marky, what is your reception like in uh, Ocean Grove? Not too bad. Or am I, you Are you sure? My eyes are going a bit blurry, do you? On this side. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you reckon it's C? We could go with them and go with A if we want to be. If we want to go with them. <laughs> you want to be followers? If we lock in A, Joel. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> a last minute reversal, and both teams <laughs> are locking in A. Let's see if they're correct. Oh. <laughs> I take it back, like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow your lead from now. Yeah, <laughs> Let's go to round two and missing player. It's the famous David Zakarakis goal, isn't it? Yep. The Anzac game, Patty. Lock it in, lock. I like the thinking. All right, Geelong, you're locking in D. Don't copy, Catherine. Well, it's pretty obvious that it's D. I would imagine. <laughs> All right, we have both teams locking in D. Let's see if they're right. Oh, what do you know? Our third round in What's Missing is Missing Text. Can you please complete this banner? Saint or North, it's a massive game. The battle for the best is an A, the glory and the fame, B, Kardashian baby name, C, frosted tips and social fame, or D, closed roof, stop rain. I think there's only one real answer. <laughs> That's actually not true, Catherine. What you're saying is B, right? No. <laughs> It's got to be A. You're the skipper, Lockie. Do we back in the Saints banner people to be banter and go with B? Oh, I'm, I'm going to be led by you. I, I'm. I give it some. You are the. I'll let you down in round one. I'm going to. I'm going to back in the Saints cheer squad oh. to go with B. Let's see who's correct. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> here, Lucky. On. Well, that is the halftime siren where Geelong lead the Bulldogs two points to one. And Eastman, Catherine, how are you feeling? You're at one point on the board so far. I'm feeling we may need to take a few more chances. We're pretty much playing safe at the moment. We've got to really take the game on in this second half, really go after it. Attack the corridor. That's it. That's it. We're happy to get ahead of ourselves, Joel. <laughs> with Lockie in the form that he's in, uh, I can't see a way where he doesn't finish with, with eight, maybe nine. All right, our second half game is called AFL for Bet. Team Bulldogs, we need you to choose a famous footy face. Alex Pierce. Uh, Piercy, let's go for Piercy. All right, you've chosen Alex Pierce. Let's see which letter is behind his face. Oh, it's a letter B. All right, 30 seconds on the clock to go back and forth, naming as many things to do with footy, starting with B, and your time starts now. Ball. Bob. Bont. Boundary. Brownlow. 
Uh, um, I'm stuck. Campbell. Banana cake. That's very good. Um, uh, oh no. Handball. Bulldogs. <laughs> Great one. Backman. <laughs> I'm bad. Uh, Bruce McAvaney. Oh, melted. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Easton, you could have said Bevo. <laughs> Hindsight's a wonderful thing. All right, Geelong, now it's your turn. Please choose a famous footy face. Uh, let's go, Coxie. All right, Mason Cox, what letter is behind his face? Ooh. Uh, it's the letter S. All right, you've got 30 seconds on the clock and your time starts now. Stephen King. Slurpee. Sam Simpson. Snapper. A snap. Um... Stephen Tingay. Stephen Coniglio. Uh, pass. Stephen Wells. Stephen Motlop. <laughs> uh, pass. Um, Steve Hawking. <laughs> <laughs> How many people you know called Stevens? Ridiculous. <laughs> Geelong scored nine points in AF Alphabet and at the end of play, Team Bulldogs scored 10 points, which means today's champions are Team Geelong at 11 points. Congratulations. Well done, Lockie. Beautiful, man. Well, well, teams, because my absolute best friends in the whole entire world, Telstra, don't want you to go home empty-handed. They will be paying your phone bills for the next 12 months, plus signing you up to a 12-month KO subscription so you can stream footy all day long, plus organising a Team Guernsey for you each. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Thanks, Telstra. Thank you, Telstra. So Does people will believe you, lot. Is this still a stitch up? I don't know if I'm, I'm <laughs> really going to come to the mail. Well, team, thank you so much for playing Telstra's free pre-game game show. You know what that means? It's now time for the, the real game.